Dave from Dave Moore Racing here. I've got a, another quick video for you. It's not really so much of a product review as it is a product awareness video. Um, I'm always looking for equipment, pieces and parts to help analyze what the bike's doing, um, to speed up tuning, to keep it in better condition for racing. And I came across a product here. Uh, my buddy CJ Wadley actually found it. Um, on the website thesensorconnection.com and I'm gonna I'll put a, a the part number for it and a link down in the description but anyways this is the smallest least expensive EGT that I have found that has a max hold function so you can make the pass and then uh, it'll show you what your maximum EGT is now everybody you know you've always seen me I've always got some sort of digital telemetry on the bike and I find that EGT gives me the quickest way of making sure that my bike is still dialed in for whatever the altitude or weather conditions are. Once I know what the optimum operating temperature is then I, uh, I just make sure that the bike makes that temperature on every pass and I do that by adjusting the super jet because my bike is on methanol so you know I like to keep it right at what I have found to be the opt optimum operating uh, temperature. So anyway, this uh, this little sensor is uh, pretty trick. Let me show it to you here. So this is the little guy right here. It's not very big, as you can see. It's actually really small. Um, it does require a 12 volt power supply for it, which I've actually come up with a pretty trick way of powering it. Also, it's not meant to be mounted. Um, externally as in it's not waterproof but I, I came up with a trick way of building a little box for it and mounting it so if you guys are interested in this let me know in the comment section or uh, email me at davemoreracing.com or on my Facebook page and let me know and I'll do a, I'll do a video basically on how I set it up for the thing but it's uh, like I said it's pretty trick um, push the button blue light lights up that indicates the last maximum temperature that I had. Hold down on the button and it's going to clear it. And now it's just waiting for the next temperature. So right there you're seeing the maximum temperature that the sensor, just the ambient temperature of the sensor right now. So you make a pass. It lets you know what your temperature was. I make a little bit of adjustment on my super jet. Clear the thing out. I'm ready to go again. So. Anyway, like I said, if you guys are interested in this, let me know. I'll make a video on how I hooked it all up and everything. And if you like the videos, uh, like them, subscribe, and I'll keep making more of them. All right, you guys have a good time. Thank you.